Researchers are looking for the magic bullet that will eradicate cancer, and they may be one step closer. A lab in BC has found a way to produce an extremely rare cancer drug, one that previously relied on limited supplies of radioactive waste. Jordan Armstrong explains how this major breakthrough could make a major difference. Let's start with an explanation of the drug researchers are so excited about. Five years ago, a German man riddled with cancerous tumors and weeks away from death was given an untested drug, which contained a radioactive isotope called actinium-225. Eight months later, the tumors had disappeared. We're seeing um, cancer basically be eliminated in some cases. And so those are very early results, but very exciting ones. Problem is actinium-225 is incredibly rare. Today, most of the global supply comes from American radioactive waste, but it's barely enough to treat a handful of patients a year. This is where Triumph comes in. Researchers at the UBC facility have found a way to make it in the lab using this, Triumph's high energy cyclotron. Here's how it works. The cyclotron um, speeds up uh, protons uh, to three quarters of the speed of light using electromagnets. Um, and so it basically shoots it down a beam line. It basically blasts it apart and creates um, hundreds and hundreds of different isotopes. And one of them is actinium 225. Which is nicknamed the rarest drug on earth. But Triumph's CEO hopes to change that. Because we have this incredible cyclotron at Triumph, we have the capability, so the theoretical capability that we can scale up to produce uh, many, many thousands of doses. A BC cancer researcher says this could open the door to a whole new line of treatment. It's very hard to develop resistance with actinium. Uh, so we anticipate that this will be an effective uh, third, fourth line of treatment in addition to the other treatments that are available. So what's next? Step one, establish a supply chain. Step two, BC clinical trials, hopefully in the next 18 months. Cancer research, uh, we're seeing a lot of progress. Uh, it's like, uh, you know, wanting to send a man to the moon, you know, how, or a woman to the moon, you know how to get there. Uh, you just need sufficient resources to develop the infrastructure. A 2020 homegrown triumph for nuclear medicine. Jordan Armstrong, Global News, Vancouver.